Greetings, Internet. I want to share the tale with you about how I was in the emergency room of Mass General Hospital yesterday and all the wackiness that ensued with that. Uh, first off, I got there at about 2.30 in the afternoon, close to 3, and was first sent to the wrong area. I had asked them where the emergency room was and they instead decided to send me over to the walk-in clinic because the woman at the desk decided that I didn't have an emergency. Despite the fact that I had not slept in four nights and was dizzy and had vomiting and all kinds of fun things. So I finally got to the emergency room because as soon as I got in the walk-in clinic they were like, oh my god, you're in the wrong place. I waited two hours to be seen in the emergency room. They took my vitals. They gave me this totally nifty bracelet. And I waited another you know, a whole bunch of time, and I saw a nurse who was really, really nice and helpful, and gave me a pillow and was nice, and I was screened, and they took my blood and stuff, and then I was put in the post-screening area. And everything went downhill from there. Basically, this bum named Barry came in. He was super, super drunk, super messed up on who knows what, sat down right next to me, of course, decided that he was my new best friend. And he kept telling me that I was gorgeous, which is exactly what you want the crazy homeless guy to do when you're in the ER. And I guess this made the nurse hate me. I don't really know what I did, but she started being really nasty to me instead of being nice. For example, I waited an hour and a half, and then I said I had to go to the restroom. And she told me where it was, so I went to the restroom, and as soon as I came back, she was all, LOL, I need urine sample. And I had to wait three and a half more hours before I could deliver on that. And the whole time, she kept kind of badgering me about it, being really nasty. Meanwhile, I'm alone. I have not slept in four days. I'm going insane. I'm exhausted. I, I had been dizzy. I threw up. It was like the worst day ever. And... Everyone was just treating me really nasty at that point, so I had Barry on one end being like, I'm insane, and I'm telling you I love you, and he kept trying to pet my hair, and it was ridiculous, and he asked if my hair tasted like strawberries, and it was completely insane, and then on the other end, there was this guy who was just complaining that he needed Percocet the whole time, he's just like, give me my Percocet, give me my Percocet, and he was yelling, and so basically in this horrible area, and I'm getting more and more upset. So at this point, it's 8.30 at night, and I finally couldn't take it anymore, and I just started I started crying hysterically and yelling and being like, why is no one helping me? I've been here for hours. Everyone's just kind of ignoring me. Are you just waiting on a urine sample to go through? Like, what are you waiting on? It was ridiculous. And the really nasty nurse was like, well, we need that urine sample. We can't do anything without a urine sample, which I would have given her if she had just given me the cup in the first place. So after having my little outburst, uh, they decided that I had a I had an incident, and they called psych to counsel me. And at this point, I had a really nice nurse talk to me, and she got me dinner, and they brought me over to the psych area. And within, I waited another two hours there, and within 15 minutes of talking to them, they determined what my problem was, which she felt was like I I had perhaps like a virus or something fun like that. And long story short, I got sleep aid, and I slept nine hours and I'm alive again. Yay! I don't have to kill all of you. Yay! So, in conclusion, I had a really miserable time at the ER yesterday, sitting there alone and being harassed by a homeless man until I got overwhelmed and started screaming. And I was escorted to the psych ward by two armed guards. So I was escorted there for having an incident. So, now you, wonderful internet, know how cool I am. So, in conclusion, my dearest pals, I feel better, I don't have to launch the destruct missiles on the universe or anything, and all is well, I have a nifty bracelet, and hooray. Hope you enjoyed my video!